Number 62. Atmospheric pressure atop Mount Everest is 3.3 times 10 to the 4 newtons per meter square. Letter A. What is the partial pressure of oxygen there if it is 20.9% of the air? All right, so we have to remember the relationship between partial pressures and total pressures, okay? So consider you have a certain volume of air, and you know that in this volume you have 20.9% of oxygen. That means there's some other, you know, some other compound or compounds that uh, comprise in the majority. Also, just so you know, about 78% of it is nitrogen gas. But when they tell you that the total pressure or the, now they didn't say those words though, right? They didn't say the total pressure. They didn't make it so obvious, but they told you the atmospheric pressure. That is, that is the total pressure. Atmospheric pressure means the total pressure of the gaseous mixture, whatever you're talking about. All right. So this, the total pressure here is 3.30 times 10 to the fourth pascals. Remember Newton per square meter is the same as Pascal. All right. So we then know that the partial pressure attributed to oxygen in this mixture is basically proportional to its percent, okay? In other words, the partial pressure of O2 will be equal to the fraction of O2 multiplied then, present in the mixture that is, multiplied then by the uh, total pressure, okay? So simple, right? This problem is actually straightforward. The fraction here converted to the decimal right, 2.09, then multiply by the total percent of the atmospheric pressure here, uh, excuse me, the total pressure, so basically the atmospheric pressure, 3.30 times then 10 to the fourth. And the partial pressure then of O2 will be equal to, just take out the calculator, 0 0.209, multiply then 3.3 times 10 to the fourth. So this is going to be about 3.99 or so, 3.99 times 10 to the uh, wait a minute. Wait, no, 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 no. How could, how could this be greater than that? I don't know. It's not. That's because that's what happens when you move too quickly. I plugged in uh, the wrong value. So 0 0.209 multiplied by 3.3 .3 times 10 to the fourth. And where's the decimal? I don't, I hit it, but it didn't enter. So 0.2, one more time, guys. Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. 0 0.209 multiplied by 3.3 .3 times 10 to the fourth. And there we go. So this works out to be 6.90, uh, basically, if we consider rounding, times 10 raised to then the third, right? And that's in Pascal. So that's the, that is the partial pressure of oxygen. All right, that takes care of letter A. Let's take a look at letter B. What percent oxygen should a mountain climber breathe so that its partial pressure is the same as that, as sea level, basically? where atmospheric pressure is 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fifth newtons per meter square. All right, so basically what we're trying to uh, figure out, okay, is first we wanna figure out what's the partial pressure of oxygen at sea level here, okay? That's the first part of the problem. So how do we find that? Well, simple, again, it's the same formula, okay? The partial pressure of oxygen, at sea level would be equal to the fraction, I'll just call it F sub O2, the fraction of oxygen present in the mixture multiplied then by the total pressure at sea level. Now the percent, and they didn't mention this, but this, you, you we have to assume the percent, you might have seen problems before where we're dealing with about 21% of oxygen for almost all the problems. So that's basically going to remain constant. So this fraction remains constant over here, okay? So that means the partial pressure of O2 at sea level will be equal to 0 0.209 multiplied now by the total atmospheric pressure at sea level, which they told us was 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fifth. Okay, now let's see what this works out to be. 0.209 times 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fifth. Okay, so this now works out to be 2.11 times 10 raised to the uh, fourth Pascal, all right? So this is the partial pressure of oxygen at sea level. And what they're now asking us is what percent of, what percent oxygen should a mountain climber breathe? Now, we have to know a little something about this. Basically, um, we want, we need the mountain climber or the mountain climber needs, not we don't. I mean, the mountain climber is the one that's climbing, right? The mountain climber needs uh, to breathe in this partial pressure of oxygen. 
okay? Otherwise, anything lower than this, you start to, you know, uh, you start to become, what, what's the term? You start to get that, that um, altitude sickness and so on and so forth, right? You might not be able to breathe uh, well. Uh, you know, over time, there's adaptations that occur. But uh, what we want, what, you know, what needs to happen is that the mountain climber needs to breathe this partial pressure of oxygen. However, at the top of Mount Everest or whatnot, the partial pressure of oxygen is this. Now, this is a problem, okay? So, what? So, the question is now asking if we're on top of Mount Everest, all right, and you know that the pressure, the atmospheric pressure, okay, the total pressure that is, is going to be equal to, as they mentioned, 3.3 .3 times 10 to the fourth Pascal. And you know that you need a partial pressure of oxygen, though. The best thing would be for the person to breathe in this partial pressure of oxygen, this amount of 2.11 times 10 to the fourth Pascal. The question is then, what percent oxygen should there be? In other words, what fraction of oxygen should there be? So if you notice, we got to use the formula again. Okay, because these three variables are related via this equation. So I can now just plug in the values. The partial pressure of O2, as we mentioned, was 2.11 times 10 to the fourth. That equals then the fraction of O2, fraction of O2, multiplied then by that total atmospheric pressure at top of Mount Everest is 3.3 .3 times 10 to the fourth. Just divide out that 3.3 .3 times 10 to the fourth, and we will find our fraction, okay? So it's uh, 2.11 uh, times 10 to the fourth divided then by 3.3 .3 times 10 to the fourth. And we realize that we need about 64%, right? Or the fraction here is going to be 0 0.640, 640. And then converting that into a percent, just multiply that by 100. It works out to be basically 64%. So in order for the mountain climber uh, to be breathing in a concentration essentially or a partial pressure i mean they're not the same but um, in order for the mountain climber to be breathing a partial pressure of 2.11 times 10 to the fourth pascal of oxygen at an altitude where the atmospheric pressure is 3.3 .3 times 10 to the fourth the percent of oxygen in the air would need to be 64 percent but the oxygen in the air is only 20.9 percent so hence a little bit of a problem anyway all right guys thanks for tuning in appreciate it very much uh, if anyone has climbed Mount Everest, leave a comment in the description below. I'd be interested to see. Thank you.